Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am so excited because today we are chatting about baby names. I have made a few different baby names videos in the past and they seem to be my most popular videos. You guys really seem to like them, so I am back with another one. This list is going to be more vintage more classic names, and I hope that you guys really enjoy this list. I have 10 girl names and 10 boy names picked out to share with you guys. These are names that I really love and Adam isn't as much of a fan of, so we will not be using this for any future babies, which is fine because we already have a name picked out for baby number three. We have a girl name for Sin Middle and a boy name for Sin Middle. And actually, if you go back through my old videos, my old baby name videos, the boy name, the first and middle, is in one of the videos. So anyways, Let's just get into the names. All right, let's just start with the girl names. The first name on the list is Amelia. I absolutely love the name Amelia. It's actually a German name, and if you don't know, Adam and I are obsessed with Germany. German culture, German food, everything about Germany we love. We really wanna to go to Germany together one day. I've been there once. I went back in high school on a school trip, but we've never been together and we really wanna go one day. So anyways, I just love the fact that it's a German name. It actually means work. And I just think it would sound really cute with any middle name. I just think it's a beautiful name. It flows really well and it's just a classic name that you don't hear as much these days. Next name on the list is Mabel. I also think Mabel is a very beautiful vintage sounding name. We don't pick our names based off of meaning, but I do think it's kind of fun when you look it up and you find kind of a sweet meaning like that. Adam, on the other hand, he thinks that it sounds like the baby came out of the womb as an 87 year old. So that's what he told me last night when I brought up that name to him. So yeah, he's not a big fan of Mabel, but I still love it. The next name on the list is Winnie or Winifred. And I absolutely love this name. I first heard it on the movie Tuck Everlasting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, but it's a really sweet movie, like an old Disney movie that I used to watch a lot. And I always loved this name. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about Winnie, but I just think it's a sweet name. And it's just an old classic name. Again, it's like this whole list, I think are just classic names that you don't hear every day. And I just love them. The next name on the list is Josephine. So I would probably call her Joe, kind of like in Little Women or Grey's Anatomy. There's a character named Joe. You guys know I love boys' names on girls. Another example similar to this is naming her Charlotte and then calling her Charlie. If you guys have seen any of my past videos, you know I love this kind of thing. The next name on the list is Rosalind, and I really like this name. There's a couple different names similar to it that I also like. Rosalie, Rosemary. I honestly like all of these, like rose variations you could nickname her rosie rose rosy there's a few different things that i really like adam's obsessed with it too he really likes the idea of calling a little girl rosy like a little rosy running around how cute would that be <laughs> he really likes that so honestly if we end up changing our mind for some reason on our name that we already have picked out i feel like this is what we would probably go with so we'll have to see yeah this is one of my favorites the only thing is that Rosalind, it makes me think of American Hustle. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but it makes me think of Rosalind from that movie. The next name on the list is Abigail. I think Abigail is just such a sweet girl name. Adam actually likes this name. The meaning is joyful, which I also love. It's a very sweet meaning. You could call her Abby. I think there's a lot of middle names that would sound good with it. And yeah, I just really like this name. The next name on the list is Daisy. This is another flower name, but Adam really likes flower names because we're both into girly girl names. I think very feminine names are very pretty for girls. So Daisy is another really sweet name for a girl. You don't really need a nickname for this one, honestly. I think it just sounds good like it is, and I think a lot of middle names would sound good with it. The next name on the list is Luann. I do really like this name. It's a very sweet, vintage-y old name. I just don't know if I can think of any cute nicknames for it. I don't know if I can think of a middle name that would sound good with it, because it's already kind of two names. So that's the only thing that I can't, it's like not really selling me on it. But yeah, I do still think it's a really cute name. The next name on my list is Aurelia. So this is another one of my favorites. It is from Love Actually. That is where I first heard it, Love Actually. It's a really beautiful name. I just think it sounds beautiful, like Aurelia, 
really it's like amelia it's very similar to amelia i love both of those names so much i just think they flow they just flow off your tongue it's so beautiful the next name on my list is nora and i really like this name you could spell it just n-o-r-a or you could add an h to the end i just think it's a very beautiful older more vintagey name and adam actually is kind of on board with this one he actually said he was fine with it nora actually means light and honor which is another kind of cool meaning let's move on to the boys list so my very first boy name is my favorite one it is wells so i absolutely fell in love with the name wells i can't remember where i heard it but i fell in love with it as soon as i heard it i think it would be a perfect middle name as well as well adam absolutely hates it i'm pretty sure his exact quote when i mentioned it to him was yeah let's name our baby after a hole in the ground so he's not a fan i really thought he would like it but he's not a fan and whatever it's fine maybe steal this one from me please i want somebody to use this name because i love it so much so comment down below if you like this name because i want somebody to agree with me wells is this a good name let me know the next name on my list is Atticus. I have heard this name more and more recently. I fell in love with it as soon as I heard it. Again, it's the same as Wells. I really like this name, but Adam hates it. I think it's very handsome for a boy too. Like I think you, I could see like a very masculine Atticus. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. The next name on the list is Ellis. I actually think Ellis could go for a boy or a girl. I have always liked this name. It's another one that I have seen being used more and more lately. But yeah, this is a good one. I like the name Ellis. Okay, the next name on my list is Walter. And I think Walter is just such a cute, like handsome old name. I think it's actually, it would be kind of funny, like a baby named Walter, because it does sound like a more like old man name. Adam, as soon as I said it to him, he was like, everyone would think that we named our baby after Walt Disney, because we love Disney and we have had, uh, I can't talk. We have had annual passes forever. We probably shouldn't name our baby Walter. It would be like naming our kid Mickey, basically. <laughs> but I do think it's a really cute old name. And yeah, it's a sweet name. I like the name Walter. Okay, here's one that Adam actually does like. So next name is Leon. I love this name. Adam actually loves it too. We, we agree on a lot of L names. It's kind of funny because we don't want to do Lincoln and Leon. Lincoln and Levi. Like we don't want to do double L names. We decided that we don't want to do all L's. So that is why we wouldn't name our baby Leon. But it does mean lion. It is a really cool name. I honestly think it's such a strong name. And, and we love Leon Bridges, such a good singer. So anyways, I love the name Leon, you guys should steal it. You also don't hear of many Leons anymore these days. It's very uncommon, so it's a good one. Okay, here's another German one that I love, Conrad. I know that this seems like a little bit out there unique. Like Adam was like, what are you talking about? This is a weird name. So it's a German one, it means brave counsel. I don't know if I could for sure pull the trigger and actually name my baby Conrad, but I think it's kind of cool. The next name on the list is Christopher. I have always liked this name. It's like, I really like three syllable names, but there's not that many of them, I feel like. It would go with like a lot of middle names, you know what I mean? Adam's like, eh, about it, but I like it. I like it a lot. The next name on the list is Bennett. So Bennett actually means blessed. And I think this is such a cute name. I think it could actually work for a girl as well. And it could be a cute middle name too. The next name on my list is Atlas. I think this would be a really cool name for parents that like are super into travel. Call him Addy, or you could actually use this for a girl too. I think Atlas would be a cute girl name. Again, you could call her Addy if it was a girl. I don't know. I think this one's really cute. Again, Adam doesn't like it. The last name on my list is Flash. Fletcher. I think Fletcher is a really cute name. I think that it could go with a lot of middle names. The nickname Fletch would be really cute. I like this name a lot. Adam is not a fan, but again, we already have our names picked out. Hopefully you guys will like some of these and yeah, let me know what you think of them. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing those names. I have even more names that I love that I could make more lists for Bible names, nature names, whatever you guys want to hear. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this and you want more videos of baby names or if you're just bored with me and you're like, stop with the baby names, lady. Like, I'm done with you. Then let me know that too. Let me know what your 
favorites were, what your least favorites were, what your kids' names are, if you're pregnant, whatever, comment down below. I would love to chat with you. I need to go get Lincoln from Quiet Time, so I gotta go. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.